Hi there, it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I just want to share with you a project I completed. This is, um, the box itself is a design I had made, um, and what it is holding is the photo folders from Paper Phenomenon, and let me show you those. So this is the box I created. I put in a cute little decorative um, cutout in the front just to make it easier to grab the little photo folders. Uh, my little box I did make is 7x4, just so you know. And here, let me show you the folders. Here's the inside of the box real quick. And before I get too far, let me just show you the papers I used. I used several different paper collections. So, um, this is a Prima Royal um, Menagerie. I used that one. I also used the Paper Studio. I used um, this particular paper pad. And also from Paper Studio, I used this one. And another Prima, I used Tales of You and Me. And I think I also used a smaller um, thing of Prima Paper, too. Um, and I forget what the name of that one is, but I used another smaller pad, too. And all those paper collections really worked well together. So let me show you. So photo folder number one is this one and I put a little elastic closure on it. You see there's the back. I think the small primer pad was romance novel. Um, I used it on some of these pages. I think that's what it was. So it un does like this. So it folds open. And oops, I'm in the box. So it holds plenty of photos, so it goes like this. And then right here, then there's a pocket here to hold some photo mats. I just put one in there for now. Um, nice view of just the paper right here. And then another photo mat. Another just big sheet, so if you run out of space you can always add there or leave the pretty papers. This one. This is a little trifold one. And then in the back, there's room where you can slip in some more photo mats. Full size photo mats fit in the back there. And then the other side is really just a duplicate of that side. So it folds up. And a pocket. And another pocket. So I made these two pockets somewhat match right there. And then another trifold. Like and you could try to put something more photos over here, maybe some shorter ones, but my closure piece is right here. So it would be a little difficult to put them all the way through because it would catch up on this. So that's the first one. And then the second one is basically um, has a closure too, like this. And it just opens like this. And this one literally will just hold any extra or overflow photo photos that you have. And uh, I did put some mats in here. Right here is where my closure is. And some more. So I'm going to take it out. So that's what that looks like. And it just folds down, these close over, and then it just folds up. And then I have the elastic closure again. And as it gets fuller, um, you won't get like this part here. You can see it kind of pounces up. Or the other way I found I could put my closure on is going the longer way. You could do it either way, so. And then it'll kind of keep that a little more closed. Just like that. And then the third one, which is a combination of those two. So here's the front. And the back. So what that one does is it opens like this. Room for your photo mats here and here. There's a pocket if you wanted to add more photo mats. And then this one just holds a photo. Another pocket right here. 
and then right here is a cute little see-through packet that you can put in a few other little smaller pieces and stuff and then it just stays closed by this flap here um, that when you start closing down the photo mats it'll just keep it all closed so you don't have to worry about anything falling out and then on this side so this is another one just like the photo mat photo folder too just holds some overflow photos and stuff and then this one here I actually put a magnetic closure on this end to hold it together and this one opens like this and then another this one's a thicker pocket so you can put a lot more stuff in this one right there and it closes down Anyway, I will link you down below to Kathy's shop if you want to pick these up. These were actually part of the Holiday Village Trio. So this is something I had made. I, also, I finished one of the houses. I'll do a video on that. But these are exactly what the books look like that go into the house. And it's really cute. Um, anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And I will be back with another video. Thank you.